Hello everybody, my name is uh, Let's Get Different Magnet Fishing. Thank you for coming to this video. If you come to this video through checking out my two other videos, the 200 kilo and the 300 kilo magnet uh, test, exactly the same three items, I'm testing the 400 kilo magnet. If you've not yet seen them, if you wait to the end of this video, there'll be links directly to the uh, them two videos. If you haven't got time to wait, check out in the description, they'll be there and they'll also be in the playlist with these three, three videos together. Now, the three items we're going to be testing the key lock you always find these near canals near the locks and maybe whatever boats drop off by accident but you always find them if you go magnet fishing near locks on canals and stuff you always seem to find an hammer or even a lump hammer now people find safes people find other knives guns and stuff i haven't found out like that yet not guns i found a safe but not guns so over two videos like i say we tested these uh, three items now if you're interested in a magnet check out the one where i did the 300 kilo magnet test cool video so first thing we're going to be putting it on is the canal lock key now this magnet it says 400 kilos but it's double sided 200 kilos but once this magnet here is connected to some thick metal it will not let go because it seems like all the force of both penetrates down into one side of the magnet. Thank God the sun's going behind clouds, you're getting a better vision now. Right. If you got Facebook and you want to follow me on my uh, Facebook group, Let's Get Dipping, Magnet Fishing, go on there, ask, I'll be the one that approves you to come to my group. And what I like, like basically let people do is share any YouTube video you've, you've got on your channel of magnet fishing or showing magnets or talking about magnet fishing anything to do with magnet fishing you can share any video you do when you do it as you want to upload videos post them on my group i don't mind so that's let's get deep in magnet fishing there'll be a link in below in the description for that as well right let's test it so there you basically got a 200 kilo magnet attached to it what's a lot like this one, this is a 200 kilo magnet, very popular on uh, YouTube, this is for magnet fishing. Most magnet fishing people start off with a 200 kilo magnet, what's this one? That's probably one of the standard ones most people have anyway, 200 kilos is pretty cool for canals. Right, so at the moment it's 200 but if you sum it thick like this, the 400 seems to penetrate and be a nightmare to get off. It's like trying to get the 300 kilo magnet off. Ugh, come off a bit easier. Like I say, you've only got 200 kilos on it. See, that just wants to come off anyway. That basic just wants to lift off. I'm not having much trouble getting that off that small target there, am I? If I put it where it's more thicker, more area for the magnet to cover, then it does start getting harder but there's more grip on this so what you can do is just turn the magnet so it gets closer to end and you can pull it off it's not a 400 kilo magnet but people do say 400 kilos right so what we'll do now is i think in the last two videos i did the no i did this i'm the next find these next to a lot of where they've been building on canals if the builders have damaged the uh Shaft for the hammer there to chuck them in the water. Sad, shouldn't they do it? But you do find a lot of hammers in canal. Shut up! Every video I've had to tell that dog to shut up. A bit of, bit of fight, not much. It's not as powerful as you think it would be to say they sell it as a 400 kilo magnet. But at work, I work at a sheet metal firm. When this got onto a 20 mil thick uh, plate of metal cast iron, it won't let go because it seems to be all the magnet works as one to grip the metal. And we had to put this around the crane and lift this off by the crane. It works better if it's attaching itself to a lot thicker metal. Probably like a safe, a thick old safe. Uh, bikes, you know, bike frames, they don't work very well on them. One what does work well on bike frames is the 300 kilo one and this one seems to do all right on it it does let go though but this one 
is a nightmare. It don't really want to attach to all thin. Heavier than metal, thicker it is like this. It wants to be a bit of a, a pain on getting it off. So if you are looking for a 400 kilo magnet, this is not the one to buy. Do check what it says in the uh, video title. It might it'll say double sided 400 kilo magnet equals times two. So times 200 it says, sorry. So that means each size 200. To start off with a magnet, if you're gonna do a magnet fishing, you really do want to start off with a 200 kilo magnet, but probably try get this one. I think they're about 68 pound or 58 pound on Amazon or eBay right now. Uh, I got this one, did think it was 400, but then when I started using it, I realized, you know, I had to look into it, and yeah, it was a bit of an, uh, a letdown, I realized it was 200 each side. But this 300 kilo magnet, check out this video on this one. Quick demonstration, I wasn't gonna do this, because I know how hard it is. Uh, yeah. By hand, we are not moving. This 300 kilo magnet by hand. Ugh. We're not getting that off. What we have to do is get a bit of rope. It won't even go on with it. And then put it on the ground or put it like that and just give it a bit of a. Anyway, that's in uh, the. 300 kilo magnet video check that out the link will be here already for that one and that'll be the other 200 kilo magnet or that one will be if you press this here it'll subscribe you to my youtube channel please do check out that facebook group as well i'll accept you post whatever you want to do as long as it's with magnet fishing and thanks for watching so if you've got a magnet what you think would be a good advice for me to have a look at please do comment below and let me look at it and tell me thoughts about these magnets and which one you would try but i'd advise you Check out the channel for this 300 kilo magnet. It's a beast and a half. Right, so thanks for watching. Do check them out. Hit that, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you later on.